Okay, so this is a, a short um, a short video because it's the last part of the uh, one one point seven and homework number six. It's continuing with the. Uh, it's, it has to do with. It's called compound inequalities, which I need to show you how to do. And e, and it says follows. We let's say you have a case like this. One. I'm sorry. I I got it. I got to start the um, the draw software. Here we go. Okay, now I'm ready to start the draw software. So we're talking about compound inequalities. And here is problem number one. And I'm just going to do this problem and, and explain it and then give you an exercise. And this is going to be a short video, I believe, and it'll complete our story with 1.7. So let's say you have 5x and less than 45. And then the compound part is where it says the word and. We had the word or before. Now, what if we had? We talked about compound. This is the continuation, and this one has the word and in it. How would you sit, treat a situation like this? Okay, so it's pretty straightforward how to solve this. We all know how to do this. Divide by five on both sides. We did not divide by a negative number, so we got x and less than nine. And on the other side, we divide both sides by thirteen, and we get x is greater or equal to negative three. And that's pretty much it. All we got to do now is we either present, the pro present our answer as this, answer C, as follows, or it could come up as follows, and very likely the, in the following notation, the interval notation, which is X is greater or equal to negative three. So it could be equal to negative three. We'll start off with that small number, negative three, the smaller number, it could, be great, it could be greater than that. It can go all the way up to 9. It's less than 9. So it can't be 9, but it's going to be it's less than 9. But it goes up to 9, but does not include 9. And that's it. That's the other, the, other, the other way to present the answer. And finally, what about the interval notation? I'm sorry, the number using the number line to, to pick the same thing. And all of the, all, C could have all three of these. Two out of three, all three. But he, what about the number line? There's zero in between. We know that if you go back to negative three, which is, let's say, approximately about here, and nine is approximately, a positive nine is approximately about here, on the right-hand side of the zero, and the negative number is on the left-hand side, of course. Now, is negative three included? Yes, there's a bracket there, right? So negative three is included. The... The, we fill in all the way till 9. Is 9 included? No, 9 is not included. It's got a parentheses there. So you do a parentheses on your number line, the same thing. It tells you that exact same, the exact same story is being told in all three of these. All through this case, this case, and this case, all three are telling us the exact same story. All three could be part of, a, of an answer. Two out of three, one out of three. Though that's, this is the stuff we got to get used to to be able to answer. Now here comes your exercise. Your exercise is as follows. Try 12x is greater than 48 and 4x is less than or equal to 48. And see what you get for that. And that's, that completes this uh, quite short vi video. That's all we really need for the moment. And, re and really, we, you got the foundation for 1.7 and homework number six. Please work on homework number six. There, I've, all, the, all the settings have been changed. You're let, you can move from homework number six to homework number seven. All you got to do is get 1%. I've changed them all because I want you to be able to go back and forth with those homeworks. And not have to worry about passing homework number one to homework number two. I could not get it down to zero. I could only get it down to 1%. So to get from homework number one to number two, you got to do at least one problem right or something. You got to get 1%. Then you can go on to two. You got to get 1% on two to get to three. 1% on three to get to four. 1% on four to get to five, et cetera, et cetera. I couldn't. It's the, the, fate, the settings don't let me go down to zero. But I want you to be able to, as easy as possible, get go between all the homeworks without worrying about having passed everything that you need in homework seven, for example, to get to homework number eight. Okay, so that completes the job of this, uh, of 1.7.
and it's uh, stay tuned for the next video.